The Princess and the Dragon by Audrey Wood Once there was a princess who didn't behave like a princess. The king and queen were shocked by her frightful manners. <gasps> Don't touch me! I'm perfect! Her tangled hair and ragged clothes made her nanny cry. <laughs> Spaghetti a la meatballs and chocolate peanut butter cake. The cook, try as he might, could never serve a meal the princess liked. Throw it to the swine! No one ever saw her smile, except when she played a mean trick on the old knight. Eat up your nice worm! <laughs> Don't act like her. She's a disgrace. Never, never. All the mothers and fathers in the kingdom warned their children not to be like her. No, no, no! Isn't she terrible? It's green! It's big! It's hungry! One day, a dragon was seen moving into a cave in the mountain. The mothers and fathers were frightened and ran to the king and queen for help. The king and queen were worried too. They knew that dragons liked to kidnap princesses. It's come for our little dear. Oh, me. But most upset of all was the old knight as it was his job to protect the royal child. Oh, my! This news gave the princess a mean idea. Wouldn't it be jolly to watch the old knight fight a dragon? She would let the monster capture her. <laughs> that night, while everyone was asleep, the princess tiptoed out and made her way up to the terrible creature's cave. But inside, she found a dragon daintily playing a piano. The dragon was not at all what the princess expected. I'm the princess! Capture me! I wouldn't dream of it. The dragon was equally surprised. The princess thought dragons were fierce. Don't dragons roar loudly, chase knights, and kidnap princesses? But this dragon wasn't fierce at all. The others do. I don't like to. The dragon thought princesses were gentle. Don't you take ballet, read good books, and wear lovely gowns? Not me! I hate it! But this princess wasn't gentle at all. The princess knew she could be a better dragon than the dragon. I'd shake mountains with my roar. The dragon knew it could be a better princess than the princess. I'd study the violin. Suddenly, they both had an idea. I'll be the princess. And I'll be the dragon. They shook hands 
and agreed to change places that very night. A tisket, a tasket, a green and yellow basket. Get going, Greeny! This is my place now. And wasn't Nanny surprised the next morning? How lovely you look, Princess! Why, thank you, Nanny dear. The dragon had put on a lovely blue gown. It curtsied sweetly, and wanted some powder for its nose. Good morning. Isn't it a lovely day? Please pass the butter. The king and queen were overjoyed at the change. How polite you are, princess! What perfect manners, princess! Simply divine! May I have seconds, please? <laughs> the cook nearly dropped the eggs Benedict when the princess asked for more. From that time on, life was much more pleasant. really minded the dragon's mean pranks. No one, that is, except the knight, who had to rescue the princess whenever the dragon captured her. After, After that, that dragon, dragon knight! knight. The night always ended up being captured. When I roar, mountains shake! I play violin with my eyes closed. Now, all the mothers and fathers in the kingdom told their children to behave like the princess. And, of course, they did their best. But when they couldn't, they knew just the place to go. The End <laughs>